Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> it's ready. Okay, hold it still now, okay? Okay. First thing you do is we'll you, throw, you throw the whole thing in. Okay? Yeah, the so that it's in the water. This is the best way that I have found to prime your hose. Okay? Some people will take this and hold it in front of the return, in front of a pool. That does it too, but what happens if you don't have that availability? This is the tried and true way to prime your vacuum hose. We did it with catchment tanks, and when there was no return back into the hot tub, or the, to the uh, swimming pool, or to the catchment tank, but you're gonna scoop, scoop, and then this is the important part. Raise it up, scoop it, and raise it. Now, take a picture of what's happening on that end. See that? See all the air coming out of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You do that four times. Split the water four times. Okay. Grab this. Bring it up to you. You're holding it like this. Then you drop it down. Put the head down between your legs like that. And this is flushing all the air out. Putting water into the hose. If you don't do this, you're going to end up doing it over and over and over again, getting really frustrated to try to vacuum the pool. And this works. If it works in a shallow body of water, it guarantee will work when you're in a yeah. uh, deeper body of water. Okay, now this is the important part. Drop it. Grab the one end and a bunch of other lines together. Okay. Take it over here. All done. The reason why I took as much over to that side is because now you've got like 20 feet of water pulling over the edge. Okay? Now, if you're ready to vacuum, so bring up enough scope and wash this. I hope I don't make it right now. Look at so, you. All ready to start laughing at me. Keep, keep the camera on the money end. What else? You got something to say? Nothing? <laughs> what do you mean what? You're the cameraman, man. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. All right. You're rolling. Am I rolling? How do I look? Yeah. Good. You're, you know, a little backlit. Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. Let's change position. How about now? Oh, now it's like a movie quality. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay. Put it down. Get down like this. The first loop. Bend it into position, second under, put it on top. Now tighten up the loop. Go like this. Look at these loops down here. You see them? Mm -hmm. Those loops, if you keep going like this, okay, look at what's happening. If I keep forcing it, I create. They actually call that in the boating industry. Okay. Can you shake them out at the end? Though? You can, but it's a pain in the butt. And when you throw the hose back out, it loops in the same direction. And when it loops in the same direction, you've got these, these knots that are going all the way out. So to correctly roll your hose, you go like this, then go under and watch. It self-corrects it when you do that. See that? Okay, here. Over, under, and then keep it nice and tight so that your vacuum head supports each side of the vacuum hose. Okay. Here, then under. It'll almost, if you let it, it'll almost find its own pattern. Rotate it. Under. Pull it. Top. Twist it into position. And look at this. Just wants to do it on its own. Here, and then at that point, it doesn't really matter. And then I lock it in like this. And then to carry the hose, you reach all the way down and grab the, the top of the head of the vacuum. And I just keep it like this, take it back to the truck. And then when you guys, let's say now you you picked it out of the truck the same way that you got it. Here, grab the head. Okay. Hold it and throw everything else out but hold the head. Wow. You want me to do it one more time? No. 
We can watch the video in slow motion. <laughs> We're good. You get the hawk. You get the hawk. Right get the hawk. Huh? The hawk. The hawk? Mm-hmm.